Welcome back to Good Day Orlando. On this Saturday morning, there's a live look at Fun Spot. That is the slingshot, if you dare. I'd love to hear how it goes for you if you do. You can tweet us at Fox35 and let us know about your experience on that. But a gorgeous start to the day, warming up to 79 degrees already. Bigfoot and monsters hiding in the dark. It sounds like a horror film, but one Central Florida man is working to prove they are, in fact, real. Now he's writing a book about his nonfiction findings. We're joined by author and cryptozoologist Scott Marlowe. Scott, good morning. Nice to good meet morning. you. Good morning. Nice to meet you. So Thank you for having me. So this is fascinating. Explain to us what a cryptozoologist is. Well, we study animals that are not proven by science yet to exist. So there's about 300 a year that are discovered. Uh, not all of them are Bigfoot or Nessie or the Chupacabra. Yes. But uh, we do, we, there's quite a few of them out there. And uh, actually, people don't realize it, but Bigfoot has been found. Really? Not in America, but there was an African version that uh, some time ago was discovered uh, by Carl Annan and others uh, that was running around the swamps in the central Congo. And wow. it's a, it, larger than a gorilla. Uh, but uh, was actually found to be a, a type of chimpanzee. Oh my gosh! So these things do actually exist, and we find some that are bigger than bread boxes once in a while. Okay, now you've lived in Florida your entire life, Winter Haven. <laughs> what sort of creatures do we have running around here in Central Florida? Well, I wrote about uh, 23 of them in my book, Cryptid Creatures of Florida. 23? Okay. Yeah. And that that includes uh, you know the famous ones. We've got our own version of Nessie here, actually a couple of them. Uh, one uh, Nessie-type creature uh, in 1963 was ostensibly responsible for the death of four people uh, who had uh, been uh, diving the Massachusetts wreck off of Pensacola. And uh, this, that's an interesting story. That's covered. And then we've got Pinky just up here in Sanford. What's Pinky? Pinky is a, a river monster that's sort of like Nessie that uh, lives in the lake up there. Oh, my gosh. And is from time to time seen and typically has pink skin. My personal feeling is that it's just a freshwater dolphin. But... Hey, you know. But with a different color. Okay. Yeah. What else should we be aware of? Well, we, of course, we got the Chupi who runs all over Florida <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and every Hispanic place I know. Uh, and he's kind of funny. And, and some of, sometimes it, uh, they report him to look like a gargoyle. Yes. And other times they report him to look like a dog or a hyena. And I just wrote about uh, an interesting creature in this book that's coming out August 1st uh, that is the Dixie Demon, which is kind of Florida's version of the Mothman from West Virginia. Really? The Dixie Demon? Mm -hmm. Where is this and what is it? Uh, it's was, has been reported in Old Town, which is off of uh, 1927 going north uh, over on the uh, western side of the state. And it attacked a couple of teenagers. And uh, the story is, uh, well, they were, they were high school sweethearts that got married. And uh, it was an interesting story, and I couldn't find too much evidence, but the story itself was interesting. So I started putting uh, some of the stories that I thought were a little less credible in some fiction books that I'm writing now that are based on fact. Okay. So uh, that's uh, kind of neat. I did one on Squallies, uh, which is a human-ape hybrid that supposedly was done here in Florida uh, back in the 1930s, the wow. Prohibition era. And uh, that book just came out in April. Okay, so this is the new book that's coming out in <laughs> August. So <laughs> tell us where and when can people get that one? They're all available on Barnes & Noble or at uh, Amazon online. And there are a number of bookstores that are carrying them. I understand that downtown books up in Appalachia cola has got it, uh, and they're stocking it on the shelf. I think the bookstore in the Grove is going to be doing it down in the Miami Coral Gables area, and I'm sure that Copperfish Books down in Punta Gorda will be carrying okay, it. Okay, well, we are wrapping up with you, Scott Marlow. <laughs> One quick last question, about 10 seconds left. Anything scare you? Uh, not much, except <laughs> driving the traffic up here. <laughs> <laughs> you cover all the monsters, but the thing that scares you is traffic. Scott, <laughs> wonderful to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for having me. This is the book that will be available in bookstores, Weird Monsters. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Rise and shine. Time